Stage one of the 2021 AJ Bell Tour of Britain in Cornwall for the first time in the race's recent history. Penzance and the Western Promenade, the departure point for a 180.8 kilometer stage over hilly territory to Bodmin. A stellar start list, including the world champion Julian Alaphilippe, his teammate Mark Cavendish, and Wout van Aert, the clear favorite, not just for today's stage, but also for overall victory over the piece. Eight stages in length, the first of the stages, a really testing one. Hills all the way as the race was flagged off by the race director and the attacks started from kilometer zero on a climb. It was the Israel Startup Nation and Swift Carbon who launched the first of the attacks. But Nick Glamini from Quebec Next Hash was the key rider to tease out a counter-attack and eventually uh, form a group of five riders. He was joined by the American champion, Joey Roscoff, riding for the rally team and by three domestic riders, including a teenager from the Great Britain team in Ollie Stockwell, but Canyon DHB's former King of the Mountains winner in 2019, Jake Scott, was the rider who took the first of three categorized climbs on the day. Zena went to him. He picked up four points with uh, Max Walker from Trinity Racing in second place, Ollie Stockwell in third, and Joey Roscoff in fourth. Then at the second climb of the day, Nick Lamini, who'd unclipped at the first King of the Mountains and was, one, was unable to compete, picked up the second climb of the day. And then the first of two intermediate sprints in Hail. That sprint taken by Jake Scott, who'd also taken the first climb of the day to put himself in pole position for two of the jerseys up for grabs from the breakaway. Second sprint of the day at Penryn, also going to Jake Scott with some ease, sprinting off the front of the five-man group. Jake Scott then in the lead in the sprints competition and level on points in the King of the Mountains. His second place to Nick Lamini over the final climb of the day enough to secure him at the end of the day the king of the mountains jersey so the last two winners of the king of the mountains competition at the tour of britain glamini and jake scott doing battle for the king of the mountains jersey those five riders then briefly dislodging ollie stockwell as he had to recover from a minor mechanical sorting it out himself and the teenager from the great britain team with a cyclocross background, smartly remounting his bike a la cyclocross and getting back on. Joey Roscoff then, after puncturing, was caught. And shortly after that, Nick Lamini decided that enough was enough for his day out, leaving three riders out front, still with plenty of uncategorized climbs to come. 30 seconds, the gap as the peloton started to bear down on the riders in the breakaway. And Ollie Stockwell fled the coupe and uh, went off the front. But shortly later, when Jimmy Janssen's got on the front from Alpersen Phoenix, he too was caught and then it all came back together again. A flowing sharp right-hander then dumped three riders on the ground, including George Bennett from Jumbo Visma and one or two other riders from the Israel Startup Nation and Alperson Fenix too. That split the peloton briefly on the run in as Mark Cavendish drove the pace from De Koenig Quickstep trying to set up a victory either for Davide Ballerini or potentially for the world champion Julian Alaphilippe. Cavendish taking them over the last climb and then Yves Lampart, his teammate, taking them through one kilometre. A little climb then into Bodmin and down towards the final 700 metres and a testing little ramp to get over before a drag up to the finish line. And it was the Ineos Grenadiers who took control of the front of the bike race. Neil Kwiatkowski lurking in uh, third wheel then took them over the last little lump and onto the final ramp. Steep slopes. Julian Alaphilippe then on the wheel of Mihal Kwiatkowski, Ethan Hayter from the Ineos Grenadiers and alongside him Mikkel Honoré of the De Koenig Quickstep team. Wout van Aert though ominously lurking on the wheels of those riders towards the fore. Gonzalo Serrano uh, from Movistar as well as Ethan Hayter latched onto the wheel of Alaphilippe who couldn't get clear. And with a couple of hundred metres to go, just dropped away and uh, Wout van Aert got off his wheel and started to power home. Wout van Aert though, could he be caught? A fast finishing, Niels Eikhoff, the Dutchman from DSM, pushing van Aert all the way, but the Belgian national champion seeing it home and taking the win. His first race on European soil since returning from the Olympic Games. His first race back in Europe since winning on the Champs-Élysées. Comes to the Tour of Britain and takes the first stage and takes the leader's jersey into Devon, where the race will continue the next day. Living up to his favourite status then, the AJ Bell blue jersey on his shoulders for the race lead. 
Jumbo Visma's irrepressible Wout Van Aert, one of the stars of the Tour de France, lighting up the AJ Bell Tour of Britain, winning stage one and leading the general classification by four seconds to Niels Eikhoff. Gonzalo in third place and Ethan Hayter, the best of the Brits, back in fourth at 10 seconds. Adam to get in.